Okay, so what I want to do is I want to show you the growth, show the graph f of x equals negative 3 times cosine of 2x plus pi. So I'm going to try to do this a little bit kind of quicker because um, I'm a little tired actually right now. And yeah, I want to get this video going on. So the first thing, let's determine the amplitude. Now remember the amplitude is the absolute value of a, which in this case is negative 3. So therefore it's going to be 3. The period, remember the period is going to be 2 pi divided by b, which in this case is 2. So therefore, we're going to have 2 pi divided by 2, which is pi. The next thing we want to do is determine our x scales. When we create our x-axis, we want to know how far are we going to measure out our critical points. So I'm going to label the x scale. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our period and divide it by 4. The next thing we want to do is we want to determine where is the start and end of our initial period that we're going to graph. Because after that, remember, we can continue our graph infinitely in the positive and the negative direction. So our starting point. What we're going to do is we're going to take what's inside of our function, which is 2x plus pi, and we're going to set that equal to 0. Then the end of our initial period, we're going to take whatever's inside, which is 2x plus pi, and then we're going to set that equal to 2 pi. So therefore, by solving for x, subtracting pi divided by 2, my new starting point is x equals negative pi halves, and my new end point is x is going to equal um, pi halves positive pi halves. So there we go. What we're going to do is now I'm going to draw my x-axis. All right. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of make a point where there's going to be my starting point, which is at negative pi over 2. Therefore, I'm going to have four important points. Right. Each one is pi fourths away from each other. So I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, 4. So each distance is pi halves away from each other. So if I'm at negative pi, halves. To add pi fourths to that, I'm going to have negative pi over 4. Then I'll be at 0. Then I'll have pi over 4. And then my ending point is, of course, at pi halves. So therefore, my y-axis is going to be right here. And remember, I can also go back in the negative direction. So if I'm going to go back in the negative direction at negative pi halves to continue back down in this So this is my start. All right. Then to continue down in my negative direction, I'm just going to keep on subtracting pi halves. So I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, 4. So therefore, to subtract um, pi halves from this, I'm going to have a negative 3 pi, not negative 3 pi over 2. I told you I'm not really thinking right now. It's everything's not really coming together to me. I'm like, I need to kind of just break down and maybe I'll. Slow down a little bit and go through this. So I have pi halves or minus uh, pi force, I'm sorry. So therefore, that can be written as 4 over 4. So it's going to be negative 5 pi. Oh my god, I can't even do this right now. I'm like losing my mind. So I have negative pi halves minus pi over 4. So I'm going to break this down to the new denominator. So multiply by 2 over 2 or 2 over 4. So subtract that, I'm going to have a negative 3 fourths. Sorry about that. So this is negative pi half. So this is a negative 3 over 4 pi. Therefore, this is going to be a negative pi. This will be negative 5 pi over 4. And then this will be a negative 6 pi over 4, which would be your negative um, 3 halves. So there you go. Sorry, I had to break down a little bit. So the next thing we want to do is we want to now scale our y-intercept, or our y-axis. So remember, what we notice our amplitude, remember, is 3. So that means the highest my graph is going to go up, well, since there's no vertical transformations, um, you can say 1, 2, 3. It's the highest it's going to go up is 3, and the lowest it's going to go down is 3. Now remember, if we had vertical transformation, that would alter, um, our, our, that would alter how high we want to go up and down. But remember, the distance from the x-axis to the maximum with no vertical transformation is half the distance of the maximum of the graph. So therefore, we can just simply graph our amplitude right there. Now, we also notice that we have a reflection. So we're going that negative, multiplying by negative is tell us we're going to reflect the x-axis. So when we want to reflect the x-axis, what that's going to tell us is rather than starting at our current point of 1, 0, well, now with an amplitude of 3, 0, we have to reflect that about the x-axis. And we're now going to start down at negative 3, 0. However, we've noticed our new starting point is not at the y-axis. Now it's at our point negative 2 or negative pi over 2. So therefore, the next critical point is going to be my x-intercept. 
Next critical point is going to be my max. Then I can go down to another x-intercept and then head back down over to my minimum. Now remember, I can continue my graph going in the negative direction. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph two periods of negative 3 cosine of 2x plus pi. Thanks.